In the last 10 years, Snack has provided fighter training stack supplements to more than 20 world champions, including Mikey Garcia, Demetrius Andrade, and Caleb Plant. If you're ready to take your fight game to the next level, the Snack Fighter Training Stack is for you. Is there any movement on a potential fight with uh, with Sean uh, coming up? No, nothing that we can name at this time, mm -hmm. but we should see him in the ring in the next three to four months. Four months, okay. Um, I thought possibly three, mm -hmm. but he got married last week. Yeah. So, but he has been training. Um, I, I will give this to him. He trained up to the wedding and he right, went right back to training afterwards. So um, uh, as soon as we know who it could possibly be. Um, it's narrowing down to a few guys. We'd like to make an announcement probably within the next month or so. Um, who would it possibly be? Uh, it's gonna be a top 10 guy with yeah. the WBC. And okay. um, um, you know, we beat that guy and then we want to fight Errol Spence again. Yeah. So uh, th this talk of Crawford, it it's not- I would no love movement. a Crawford fight. But no I'm movement, they, they, in, they haven't I'm they haven't interested spoke. in a Crawford fight. It appears to me that as much information or as much as they talked about it, uh, as much as Bob Arum talked about it in his press conferences and things like that, it appears to me that it's just smoke because I never received a phone call. Mm -hmm. uh, I, know, I understand that uh, you know there's a lot of things that have to be done to make a fight like that happen, but the first thing that has to happen is you got to make the call. That's the first thing, so we didn't get a call. Sean then hasn't talked to Terrence at all? Not that I know of. Yeah. But of course, Sean was busy, like I said. Getting married? Yeah, getting married. Yeah. <laughs> um, Bob said that he wants to, and he's serious about uh, having Crawford fight McGregor in an MMA fight and in a boxing fight. <sighs> yeah, well, I, I don't, I don't, you know, that, that thing, you know, right there when they crossing over, one guy going into somebody else's backyard, not a good situation. Just like it's not a good situation for McGregor to come over here and try to box. Terrence couldn't go over there and do the MMA thing. You know, it's not going to, you know, um, it's very simple. You can call Sean Porter and um, we can put that fight together. Um, I, I heard those guys say, and I understand it, that we don't have a belt. So there's no reason for um, us to fight. Uh, and I get that part of it. Uh, on the other side of that, you know, um, it's not always about the belts. And for us, it's about the competition and the legacy of fighting the guy and challenging yourself, the belt is extra. Hmm. You know, um, Danny's fighting this weekend. Um, you know, that, that's a fight that uh, I know Danny uh, wants to get back. Um, there's Thurman. We don't know what's going on with, with him as well. Um, that's out there. Because it's like, we don't know what's going to happen with Arrow. You know, so like, I guess realistically, like who could be the, the, the guy that... Uh, could end up fighting Sean, you think? I don't know. It could have been Danny. We could have fought for Arrow's interim title, and then the winner could have fought Arrow, but that wasn't something that Danny wanted to do. So, um, but did you know, they offer you something? or like, No. Was it, it makes something sense. where it's like number no, one and number two yeah. fight well, for the okay. right to fight the I thought something. I, I thought it had something had been offered no. to Danny, and he was like, no, you know what? I want this it, instead. It just made sense. Yeah. No, Nobody would have had to offer it to us mm -hmm. if Danny had got a win over us. And we were number two, we would have been asking Danny to fight. Yeah. That wasn't something he wanted to do. He wanted to fight Ivan Red Cash, which I, I you know, you know, whoever he chooses to fight is who he chooses to fight. But I mean, I don't know where, how that positions you to fight a champion. I don't think it does. You know, I don't think it present. I don't think it positions you to fight a champion. Uh, I don't. I don't know much about Ivan. Uh, I was at one of his fights. I think he moved up from 140. Yeah, he did. So, I mean, you know. I, I think um, from, like, what I was reading is, like, the plan is, like, Danny gets this fight out of the way, and then he gets, like, a, a fight with Manny or something like that. I know I mean, Manny if, and if, Sean if he knows what his If he knows what his plan is, and we don't know what that is, and that works for him, I, I understand that, you know. Um, Danny Garcia is a great fighter, so, you know, we want to see him in great fights. On paper... The red cast doesn't look like a great fight. That's just my opinion. Uh, but you know, um, you know, what do you do? You go in there and let's let's just say you go in there, you wipe that guy out, and who really cares? That's my opinion. 
That's my opinion. Who? I mean, I'm asking you. That's what I want. That, you know what I'm opinion. saying? You yeah. you you lay this guy out, yeah. and nobody's jumping up and down saying you just beat a great fighter. Mm -hmm. Nobody's jumping up and down saying, you know, they want to see you fight whoever because of the competition you just went against. So, um, level of competition means a lot to me. It means a lot to Sean. To fight Terrence Crawford would be a great, you know, a great fight to be in. Um, to fight uh, Manny Pacquiao is a great fight to be in. Of course, fighting Errol Spence, fighting them, you know, a rematch is going to be an explosive fight. So, those are the level of fights that we want to fight in. We, if you call me to, about about a red cash fight, I'd have to say, you know, I'm not interested in it. 154. We're seeing a lot of like crazy upsets. Is 54 like in the plan for you guys to move Sean up there at all? No. No, not at all. No, it's not. I think, well, without even thinking about it, Manny Pacquiao, Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford are bigger fights for us than anybody we can see at 154 pounds. Mm, true. So those are the guys that we want to fight. Yeah, all right. So, uh, I don't know what the holdup is, and I don't know um, why Bob hasn't called, but Bob, make the call. <laughs> Thank you, Kenny. Thank you.